Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. Uh, so today we will recreate uh, this one here from Alistair Smith. I hope I pronounce it correctly. And uh, he makes some really nice billiard themed animations here. I really like it. It's great work. And I got a question from a follower if I can show this one. Uh, and I wrote with uh, Alistair himself and he gave me the permission to make a tutorial for it because he uh, starts uh, to make his own tutorials. He has an own uh, uh, YouTube channel here, you see, he already made tutorials. And uh, yeah, and I definitely recommend to follow him because uh, he's a really nice guy and uh, he makes really great work. And he even made here on Instagram his own uh, breakdowns. You will see here, uh, he makes some breakdowns and he he writes it here somewhere, how he does it. Let's see. Yeah, here. And, uh, but I, yeah, nevertheless, I got the question if I can show this because someone needs it. It's, it's a patron, but I do it uh, not for patrons only because uh, it's, uh, yeah, how can I say it? Yeah, maybe it, it's for people and it's not, I want to do patrons to are they are more special and and uh, so that patron gets something yeah, special, let's say. This is a really great way to do this and, and but uh, the follower, he cannot, uh, he does not understand what, what's, what's going on here. And so I show it. So as I said, I asked uh, Alistair if I uh, allowed to do this tutorial and he gave me the permission. So I will do this now. And yeah, yeah, so let's start, I would say. Yeah, you will find the links for his Instagram and his YouTube channel in the, in the description. So please follow him. Uh, so let's start. I made this already and I uh, have, where do I have mine? So, so uh, bup, 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 bup. let's see. I should have it in the recent things here. Pool. Yes, this is, this is my thing here and it's, I will do this in Octane because it renders faster. It's nothing special for, for shadering, so, so, so for texturing, so. Uh, in Octane, Live Viewer, let's see. Mine looks like this here. And I, yes, I added here some cog. So when, when I go through here, let's see, my animation, you see the cog here goes with it. And we will do it with the cog, so that this is, and yeah, it, it looks then like this. Okay, so let's start. First, I make a queue, but uh, to, to create a queue, mo to model a queue, I think everyone knows how to model a queue. It's just simply a, a, a cylinder, or in my case, I would make simple uh, cone here with uh, on the bottom radius, let's say 1.5, and on the top radius 0.5, and yeah, you have your your queue. So, so I think this is not. And but I use mine. Uh, what I made in my uh, own thing here. So I made. I have it here under my misc objects here, and I have the queue here. This is the queue I modeled here, and uh, I will use this one. Patrons, of course, can download the project file already. And yeah, you see, this is my queue here. Here yeah, with, with a little, yeah, with some texture on it and so on. 
Good. And uh, what's important here is that we have uh, the axis on the bottom of the queue. And you do this, let's hide this again and make the queue again here. So make it again 1.5, 0 0.5, and 150. Hide. Uh, and to do so, you have to make the uh, queue here uh, editable so you can make you can, you can give the axis on the bottom but if you have uh, a newer version or in r25 you can do this with a node this is a axis node so, so let's go here a thing with nodes this is an, a capsule and we have here the modifiers and here we give geometry axis and when put this on the, as a child on this one and so here I can now simply change the axis you see this would work but we don't do it like this you can simply uh, make it editable then go to the axis tool center axis and here go down with the axis execute no, come on also yes yeah, this, that does not work this is the reason we first have to do uh, to make it editable so hit c on the keyboard but anyways you have to make it editable because when you want to make some, some, some details like the tip here and and something else and the bumper and then and, and so you you have to make it editable and then go to the axis, make an auto update, and you see now the axis is on the on the bottom here. Okay, so boing. we have the queue here. I don't need. To. Now I bring the queue in a cloner, of course. So. I select my queue or my object, whatever you have here, and hold my Alt key to make the cloner parent of the queue here. And I want here a radial. And let's see, a radius of 50. Let's make 40. And here 10 queues. Nice. And now, of course, I need an eight ball so let's make a sphere and the billiard ball is uh, 5.72 centimeter and in the diameter so we need the radius here 5.72 so this is the billiard ball we go to bring the billiard ball up here and now uh, I want that this billiard ball uh, goes along a spline here so the, the makes this rotation here so this path here so we make a simple circle here bring it on the bottom and make it let's say 20 or 10 we can change everything later on, so this is no problem. And bring this to the high of the. Yeah, it does, yeah, it's okay like this. And now, right click, animation tag, align to spline. And in the align to spline, I drag in our circle here. And here now we can loops go like this. Okay, nice. Now we want that all the curves point uh, towards the 8 ball. So let's do this. Go to our cloner. And for this we need a target effector. Here we have a target effector. And the target, object target, should be our 8 ball. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, na name it 8 ball. So. Whoopsie. And you see, okay, there happened something. 
This is because we need to rotate the uh, occurs here. So for this I make another simple plane effector and go to parameter, rotation and set the rotation to I think it should be minus 90 or something else. Uh, why does it not work? Ah, here I see that the plane effector is not in the cloner, so let's go in plane effector. So minus 90 should be fine. 90. Okay, so it's NA, I can hide the lines, and you see, okay, they point to the thing. So let's take a circle here and bring them down. And you see, they, they overlap a little bit here. And I don't want this, of course. So what I do, I make a simply another uh, circle here. This is the, then the circle where they should aim. Aim. So and on this circle, I simply make a null object. So so. Where is the null object here? We should have a null here. Here is the null. And here I make the same in a line to spline. So I can copy this one. And this this is null. Not the aim null, let's say. And this should go on the circle aim. So and now I go to my target and put in the aim null instead the, of the eight ball. And nothing happens because it's at the same place. But now I take my circle and go a little up here. You'll see, okay. Now they don't I want so so very close, okay. But you see they are not they should be here that occurs. And we can change this very easy and when we make the circle, the aim circle smaller. So with T for scale, I scale it simply a little down here, so I just eyeball this, so. Nice, and with the other circle, this is the circle 8 ball, let's name it. 8 ball, so. I go a little up, so that it does, so. And that looks nice so far. Now I have two um, align to spline tags here. Name this. This is the aim one. So make a, I make a null here. This is aim. This is a circle aim. The aim null. I bring it inside here. So everything because I can now it, the the uh, order of operation does not matter here for the moment. So, uh, and I can hide this one, so I don't have to see this. But for the, now I have to see it, or I don't have to see it. I want that when I change here the position, I want that to change it just from one of these two, not both. So I make a simple expresso thing, which we don't even have to go in the expresso. Later we make a little expresso, but not now. Uh, a simple thing here is just go to the tag here and here on the position I right click it, express so and set set driver. Okay, now I'll go to the other one, right click, express so, expression, and say here set driven absolute. Now you see we have here a small expresso tag, and when I uh, select this one and rotate it. The other one, you see we are on 29% here. The other one is on 29% as well. So it does exactly the same what the first one does. And you see we have our animation here. That's it. We, anim we now simply animate this. We can hide this aim. So let's save it under... Um, Cool, yeah. Balance tutorial. OK. 
Okay. Wonderful. And now let's make uh, the ball I wanted. So give it more so we have a nice round ball. And in the circles, blinds, I give them more subdivisions as well so that we have a nice round circle. Because if they have to less, you will see when I go down here, let's look for. We get this jacket. We don't want this. The or it as so the default option here is uh, on on uh, adaptive with five degrees. But I don't like the adaptive thing here in this case. So I'm going to make it twenty. So this is okay. Fine. And now uh, let's make an uh, easy. Uh, texture for the eight ball. I have mine here, but I want to show you how, how easy you can make such a texture here. This is done. I have it here in my uh, Photoshop, you see. And it's it's done very easy. So so uh, let's make a new one. Why not? But I'll show you how it works and then I use my own. But so uh, we go, we make a new file, of course. Control N, uh, so let's make it the half of this, so the thousand, 24, a thousand by thousand. This, this doesn't matter, it, I just want it broad, so, and 16 bit is nice, and the background content is black, yes, I want the black uh, wall, so create it. Then, over this black thing, I make a new layer here then a shape here i have the shapes i want the elliptical shape here you have to go to shape not the path of pixels go to shape the fill color is white and i don't want a stroke here okay so and now i drag simply a circle here or an ellipse but i hold my shift key so you get a round circle here okay so and i make the circle here let's say 200 by 200 oops it's too big 200 by 200 okay nice and i go out of this oh, come on so and now i want to go to back to my move tool here and I want to have this exactly in the middle, of course. So I go to this guy here, center it here vertically, horizontally, and we have it exactly in the middle. Now we want the eight in the middle here, which is no problem as well. New layer, go to the text, and here we have the text tool. So everything is fine with black color and simply click inside eight okay let's see i'm happy with this i'm not really but t for scale and i scale it down if you scale it down let's see you can if you hold your alt key you scale it like this so it scales to the center so let's make it like this okay and i want it in the middle as well so suck and suck Okay, maybe a little bigger T for scale. Hold my Alt key and scale it up a little, so something like that. And again, I center it here and here. Nice. Now with Control Shift, uh, uh, Control Alt C, you can change the canvas size. So I go here in the width to two thousand. Uh, and now um, here I use I take all of them with the shift key, right click, convert to smart object, drag this one to the side here, then make a copy, control J, and drag the copy of this. I'm not sure why I have the white thing here. There shouldn't be anything white. That's a little 
why is this so let's let's have a look i double click my i think here the background here why is this background white that's a little weird anyway i trim it this should work layer uh, buh, 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 buh. somewhere i can trim it transparent okay so now it's only black here and again whoops whoops convert the smart object control shift c uh, yeah, no control alt c sorry 2000 So now that works, drag this to the side here, control J to copy the layer, drag it to the side, and we have our texture. Save it as a PNG, 16-bit or something else, whatever you want. But I already have this one, so, so I don't have to save it. So let's bring in a new material. So I need as I said, I make this in Octane because it renders faster. Octane, life here. So make this smaller and materials. I want my node editor here. So make a new material. Octane material. I always go to GGX and glossy. And now I want an image texture here. So image texture. Yeah, as you see, I have my eight ball here already. It's exactly the same what we did now in Photoshop. So if I want to see some Photoshop's uh, Photoshop tutorials or something else, let me know. We can make some Photoshop tutorial if you're interested as well. But there are so many uh, Photoshop tutorials out there, so I don't don't think it's necessary. But if you want, of course, you can do it a little bit. Why not? So specular. Uh, I wouldn't have to go here with float texture. I could do this here in, in. But I like it with float, so I have everything out here, and I don't have to go inside. So yeah one very little roughness so something like or we could use you know what i used the i used the roughness map i had i used the roughness map i used in my project file so i have to have here on the second monitor so i have here image texture roughness see i have here a roughness map as i said you can download this from a patreon and we have our eight ball material see it's it's a really easy thing and if you want to make this in physical render just uh make a material just for to show you you go to here and if you want a roughness channel, uh, that is roughness map, you simply go with your roughness up to 100, whatever you want, or less. And here you have a small arrow. You open this, and here you have a texture slot. And here you can put in your texture maps. If you for the roughness and also for a reflection and something else, so you can work here with, with maps as well. Okay. Save this and where is now our? Is this now our? Uh, I want the node editor here. Why is my node editor not here? Anyways, what's going on here? Node editor. Yeah, this is the old eight point material. I have to name it here and nothing. Eight ball. Okay. And this should work. You see, we have a UV mapping here, so that UV mapping works. If the UV mapping does not work, go simply to a spherical mapping here. 
and this would work as well. So then, okay. So we don't need this. Let's put in here the octane dialog window, and I put it here on top. Okay. So uh, now we have nothing. So we <laughs> we. Let's close this here, and uh, we have to animate our align to spline now. So this is very simple. We go to on position zero. We make a keyframe on frame zero. I want to make here two hundred frames. So I make a keyframe here. Then I go to frame to the last frame. You can do this with Shift G. You see, we go to the last frame. Go to 100% and the keyframe. Shift F. Shift F is, uh, is the first frame and Shift G is the last frame. And this you see one problem. We have our uh, eight ball does not rotate, and it for those doesn't follow this spline. For this we have to go to tangential. Now you see it follows this spline. It's nice, but I wanted it that it goes. For t in my original one, what I made for for testing, uh, it runs uh, counterclockwise. But let's make it here clockwise, so that I can show you. You can animate it clockwise. You can on frame zero, you make hundred percent, and then under the last frame you make zero percent. First, I want to show you if you made it like me here now, and you don't want to change this here. With new keyframes, you can go in your timeline. So select the whole timeline. It, it, it is select, you see. But if not, simply select the whole timeline. And here in the frame things and the functions or somewhere in the keys, we have somewhere a thing called mirror. But I think this is down here somewhere. So let's undock this, bring it up, and let's see, key, mirror x. So when I mirror this in the x, so now I have it in the, in the different direction. So now it should date counter clockwise. No, not clockwise, not counter clockwise. Okay, so far so good, but we want a rotating Eight ball, which is a little a problem because we have this uh, aligned to spline tag here, which means we cannot rotate the ball anymore. When you go to the current, we, I can here. Let's go to 360 here. Uh, okay, it's aligned to the spline. You see, we can, we can, it does not rotate because of the aligned to spline. We can rotate in this direction, but this is not what we want. Yeah, if in uh, for the eight, it doesn't matter here. You see, you've seen we we were here in, on one eight one eighty. For the eight, it does not matter in, <laughs> if we are on one eighty degrees or not. So, if you have uh, let's say a seven or something else, or so and you, it's it's on the it's uh, what's it? How does you see it? It's upside down. Then you can change it here. But how can we rotate this? Uh, the way is quite a simple one. We put the eight ball in a null, and we let let uh, rotate the null here. So I make, I select my eight ball and I make a null as a child of the eight ball. So I can be sure that the null, the object which is a child and in this case null, is exactly in the same position like our eight ball. So I select my eight ball, hold my shift key and click on the null. So you see it's under here. Now I'm sure it's on the same position. I can drag it out, bring my eight ball in this null and the line the spline tag on the null. So that's it. Now I can see we are here on 360 and now I can rotate my uh, eight ball, which I want. And the null follows, and because the eight ball is a child of the null, the eight ball follows with the null. So when now, perfect. 
save it. Now let's rotate our 8-ball. We could do this with a simple keyframe, but uh, I think it's better with, with an expressor. The expressor is a very simple one. And as more often you do something with the expressor, as more you get used to it, as more you will love it. Believe me, the expressor is really, really a great thing to have. And uh, I use it so often, almost in every uh, project I do. And even if it's not necessary, I, I put in a little uh, user data to play with. And so, so let's make a small expressor here on my 8-ball. So uh, with Shift-C, bring in expressor, see, and enter. Get my expressor window. And here I bring in my 8-ball. And I want the P rotation, the pitch rotation, heading, pitching, banking. So I go on this P and drag the P in the blue corner here. So I want to rotate this P. Then I take a time node. And I don't want the time, I want frame here. So. Uh, if you want to delete some connectors here, just double click on it. Then you see double click and it disappears. Frame. So, and now I want to tell this, please every every 100 frame or 200 frames, make a rotation of 360 degrees. So for this, we have the range mapper. This converts things. <laughs> I want this time, this is okay, and I want the output range, I want degrees. So let's bring in the frame, and I say, I want every the input upper, every 100 frames, I want a rotation of 360. Okay, nice. Batch. So that's it. Let's see what we get. Uh, let's take it to here. looks like something but it rotates too slow for my thing yeah okay so nothing easier go to range mapper and rotate 720 and this looks okay for me okay Nice. So we have our animation here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. So, so this is done, this is done, this is done. If you think that it's, it's, it's a little too fast, because I think it's... But we see it when, when we have a render or we have some nice... But this looks believable for me. Otherwise, we, 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 have, we cannot make it, it uh, 650 degrees because, uh, 560 degrees, because then uh, we would get a hiccup, so we ha don't have a loop, so we have to work with this. We can make the spline a little longer, or bigger in this case, then, then it would, uh, then it would run slower, and so on. But for our animation, this this should work, and here everything works as well. So we have this. The next thing is the cube here on top. And this is a fun thing. So let's make this cube thing. Uh, first of all, I want that the cube is exactly on the same position as the eight ball. So I make a simple cube. Yeah, I select my 8 and like we did it before, I hold my shift key so the cube becomes a child of the 8 ball and is exactly on the same position. So shift, click and we have the cube. Of course the cube is far too big now, so I want to go select everything. When I click on size, I have selected everything. So I can give here once the value 1.5, hold my control key and hit enter. So you see it changed all the selected values here at once. 
So we should have, now we can bring out the cube, we should have now a cube here. Yep. And we have here real dimension, real world dimension, so the cube is here 150, so one and a half centimeter, this is a diameter of 5.72, and this Q is exactly, I think, uh, 145 centimeter long and three centimeter on the bottom and in the diameter and one and a half cent uh, one centimeter in diameter on top here so and this is you should always try to work in real world dimensions because of the lighting then you, you get the correct lighting as well so and yeah, I could use now the cube from my original one, but I show you just this this uh, how you can make the correct uh, movement here. So let's see if the cube is on top of the sphere. Yeah, we did it quite well, so something like that. Now I go to the cube in the coordinates, and I see that the Z axis should be at zero, but this is not so necessary. Okay. Can zero this out. And here on the y axis, this is okay that we are on the y axis. But I want to freeze the y axis so that we have here everything at null. So that it, it's easier for me to, to see it. So I freeze it, and you see it's stored here, and we can work here with only nulls. And here now we need a little expression because let's simply uh, now. Let's simply rotate the cube as well. So the first thing is, I want that this cube is always on the same position like the uh, eight ball here. And I don't have to make another uh, circle and then line to spline and end, end, end. I simply make this with a constraint. So I right click here, go to the rigging text and we have here a constraint. And the constraint, I want that the eight ball here is something like a parent, like it's under a null. So the, this is, the eight ball becomes more than this, than a null with, in which the cube is, yep. <laughs> so parent, and the parent should be this eight ball here. Or then or we can, we could use the eight ball null here. Let's see, should work both, so, so. But here it could be that the, rotation goes with it with this eight ball but we'll see it so and in this constraint deck position let's see what we get when we yeah okay this is not not totally what i want and then turn off the rotation here yeah okay so let's bring in instead of this null we bring the eight ball null in this see what we get now now we are talking this is exactly what we want and of course now we have to rotate our cube so our cube should rotate in p yes and for this we can use our expresso we already have we bring in the cube and the rotation p of the cube this is the nice thing on, the, on, the, on an express, and I would so I don't have to make another keyframes and then 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 simply put this there. in the coordinates. I need the p here so, and drag this to this one. Let's see what we get. Okay, <laughs> it goes in the same direction. Then we should go in the different in the opposite direction. So for the opposite, we have a wonderful node named negate. It makes exactly the negative of this. So let's go to here, go out to here, and have a look. It looks nice, but you see it goes in our cube, and so it, it should Go boing 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 and not not like this. 
So because we don't want that this intersects here, that it goes here in the cube. Okay, let's do this. What I want, I have here a size of 15 on the cube. Uh, so 1.5 centimeter. This is the first thing what I do is I need something because when I have the cube like this, the cube has now a height of 50, y size is 15. But when we go like this, to, from here to here, it's more than 15, of course. And we have to know exactly this height. So for this, we have a nice uh, note here. It's called the bounding box. But the bounding box only works when we make the cube editable. So I'll show you what I mean. So uh, bounding box. The bounding box is something. This is uh, around an object. Let's say uh, we have here the, the, the eight ball. And if we have a cube which covers the eight ball, this cube would be the bounding box. Exactly the same here on the queue. If we have a queue, and we uh, the bounding box would be a cube around this bounding uh, this this queue, and this is the bounding box. So, so let's see where we can. And in this case, I need here only the box size, so I don't need this, I don't need this, and the cube. So the cube, we need an object here. I go to here, to the red corner, the outline. You see we have objects, so the cube is our object we need. So, and to see what the bounding box gives us, the bounding box works in vectors. So this is the y, uh, x, and z coordinates. These are vectors. So what we need here is vector, and we need a vector to reals. So we bring in vectors, and it brings me out x, y, and z. So in our case, we need only the y. And let's see what we get when we what we have in the y here. For this, we have a result node. This does nothing but uh, shows a result. So I bring this to here. You see, we have null. So, but here we, it's here. We should have here 1.5. And the reason is we have to make the cube editable. So if I go to my cube and hit C, see, okay, we have 1.5. This is the height. And when I now go further, and the cube is like this, you see, the height is 2, blah, blah, blah. So this is, is something we have to know. Good. So the first thing is, I want the always, I want the uh, cube always on this position. This means when I go to here, I have this two. When I say uh, minus point one point five uh, in the y-axis of the cube would be exactly on top of this. Let's see if this is true. The 1.5 of the cube are the thing we need. So let's make a math node. And bring in the math node. This should be a minus, so a subtract node. And I want, so I bring in our cube here. Again. I could use uh, this cube here, but, or yeah, but it's. I think it's better to see when we use a new cube here. So uh, the cube, the cube, the cube. You can use it. First, we need the size of this cube. We have the size of this cube. What I need now is. Uh, bring this size inside here. The y. Uh, come on. Input. No. Ah. So input. We can delete the other two 
Uh, they, they, you can't delete them, okay. So, and in the cube, I want here the y size in the coordinates. So, uh, the, y, the y height, for example, the, the position y. So, we have this 1.5, subtract by 1.5 is 0. So, but this should stay on zero. Why it isn't on zero? Ah, uh, the subtract, and yeah, the, the input second is, I want subtract 1.5. Now we are exactly on zero here. That's, that's what we want now. And now, when we go further, See, okay, this looks better, but now it floats here in the air. This is not what we want. For this, I simply uh, divide the this result, I divide it by 2. So, go to my math note and copy it. Control, drag it, so you can make a copy. And here I want to make a divide by 2. So, I go to here input this, the input 2 is the, the divide by 2, and bring it on the thing, chuck, and we are on top of our sphere, and now, if we rotate this, we are always on top of our sphere. <laughs> <laughs> I really love things like this. <laughs> okay, and that's it so far. And uh, yeah, what can I say? You can use here everything now. Because when I make the cube bigger, let's say, let's, it should work normally. When I make the cube bigger, the bounding box will be bigger. So we get the Y result here. And the y result, it's uh, the subtract minus minus point one. We can make we could make it this differently. We could so that we stay every time at zero here. We could put this. Cannot put every both of them in the mass divide. Let's see what we get when we make this bigger the cube. T for scale. Now we have to the cube to blah 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 blah. This shouldn't work now. Uh, it works. Everything works here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, we don't have to think a lot. I am not a magician, so uh, uh, and but uh, some, sometimes, honestly, I just try things. So I think, okay, this could work. Try it like this. Uh, I divided by two. I don't know why I, why, I, why I did it, but I tried it and it worked. Okay, so <laughs> nice. <laughs> And if I really need math, math things, uh, then I, s I have a friend of mine. <laughs> so, okay, we have to make bring this back to 15, 1.5, because this is the size of the cog. So, okay. So this is it because in the cube you don't have now, because it's uh, converted, you don't, you cannot give in here the, the, the dimension so you have to make it here okay and this is our this is our tutorial uh, as I said, you can download the project file so so then so you get the background picture and everything and you see how I, I did this with the background picture let's open the original files again so recent things here 
and then you with the project file you get the original queue, you get the cog, you get the background picture and everything. So so yep. And this is Yep. I think we could say we tag it. it. And yes, it's uh, it's it's a thing that I stop here, so maybe I get new patrons. <laughs> and so, yeah, the only thing that we cannot do is here uh, make a, a nice camera view. So, so let's bring in a camera. And I zero this out here, zero out the X. Then I make a protection tag here. Ah, uh, the protection, so this is my own script. You can download this on, 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 on Patreon as well, but it's it is simply the same like you do it here, the rigging deck and this protection deck here. So. But so I don't have to go every time in this. And in the protection deck, I leave open the C and the Y, so can, and I want here a let's say 80 on the focal length so I can go back with the C go a little up here and have a nice view for our ah, I see here you see we this is a little too far inside but nothing easier than this I go to the cloner and I don't see now uh, the clone. We can go to the coordinates, and here on the y-axis of the cloner, I go down a little bit. So oh, this is a little too far. Hold your Alt key so you have smaller increments here. And yeah, that looks better. <laughs> I love this thing with the with the cube. Okay, I hope you like this one, and uh, thanks again to I, I to 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 uh, is there Smith for the permission to make a tutorial for this, and as I said, follow you will find the links in the description for the, for this YouTube channel and thing. I'm sure he will do some tutorials and he needs more followers, you see, of course. And yeah, that's it for now. It is one for me. So uh, one thing I do, you can, you should definitely have a look here to buy all at once on my channel. This is, uh, you can here buy yeah, all at once, as it says. Uh, you, on, a, on a USB stick, you get all my tutorials I made uh, since 2015. And not also, so here they are about two, 350. Let's see. We have about yeah over 300 tutorials, old project files, old scene rigs, over uh, uh, 100 miscellaneous projects. Uh, scenery, yeah, scenery is a uh, scenery for Octane, yes, ultimate scene, scenery, all texture packs, all other downloads, blah 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 blah. And yeah, everything is on this stick, and everyone who buys this will, will get, uh, it depends on how much I do, uh, will get uh, so every month a, a, a new stuff, a new, new things. Uh, for this, I will send you a link and I will put everything on my Dropbox and so you get everything the uh, what what I do in future as well for this so, so but this can, can vary so, so, so sometimes in one month or one and a half months so it, uh, it depends how, how much I do and how, how many time I have it in this uh, in sorry I say it now uh, this year so at the end of the year, I'm always really, really busy. So uh, please, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I, I say sorry when, when I can do so much as I want to do, uh, but uh, 
as I said, uh, the last month or so, December is very, very busy for me. And, uh, but it will get, it will be better. <laughs> so it will become better again and again. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So, and yeah, if, if you want and would I really appreciate it, you can subscribe to my Patreon. You, so on the Patreon, you get all the project files as well and, and, and other downloads and uh, textures and uh, texture packs and, 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 yeah, follow me, please, on YouTube. So just, yeah, thumbs up is nice and, and so on. <laughs> and, and the abonnement and, and, and abonnement, not abonnement. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it. I wish you all the best here from Austria, Vienna. I hope you liked this one. And uh, yeah, or should I should I make some quickly a thing here? Let's quickly make make an, a little scene for for here, but uh, or not? So, so, no. Download the project file, it's better. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you have questions, if you have complaints, if you have requests, please let me know in the comments on my Facebook site, on our Facebook group, on wherever you want to contact me, over my website or whatever. Uh, yeah, the next tutorial will come, uh, I think, on weekend. And maybe if in between i'm not sure maybe i show you this tutorial but this will be a patron only tutorial let's see here uh one of the last things this is one i did a few days ago and yeah, it's a really nice thing so stacking of cards and you see this is not just uh that, that you know, every card runs runs the same movie because this wouldn't look like this. You see, <laughs> you see this, and when the burger goes away, it stops here. Or here, the boom. <laughs> it's a really nice thing, this one. And this will be one of the next tutorials for patrons. Okay, so that's it now. Again, all the best here from Austria Vienna. Stay healthy, stay safe. I got my third uh, vaccination today and I feel good. It's very good. So nothing happens. A yeah, little, the arm hurts a little bit, but this is normal. But when, when my wife hits me, it, 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 it hurts more. <laughs> good, that's it now. Before I speak, only stupid things. Good, so bye bye. Have a nice evening. Have a nice day. Have a nice morning. Wherever you are. So, and yeah, goodbye. Thanks for watching my tutorial. And tschüss und baba.